Bank of America just reporting its uh, quarterly results. Leslie Picker joins us with the numbers. Leslie. Hey, Melissa. Yeah, shares moving a little lower on these numbers. Uh, Bank of America beating on the top line, generating $26 billion in revenue on a fully taxable equivalent basis, surpassing estimates by half a billion dollars. Net interest income, a profitability metric from loan making, came in at $14.2 billion, a quarter over quarter gain, but flat from Q1 23. Higher for longer rates could help bolster NII further this year. Hopefully we'll get more color uh, and guidance on the conference call. But it also creates a drag on the balance sheet with the bank's unrealized losses back above $100 billion in the quarter at $109 billion. Executives have said they don't intend to ever realize those losses. Net charge-offs, that's debt unlikely to be recovered by the bank, came in slightly higher than expected at $1.5 billion, driven by credit cards as well as a little bit of commercial real estate investment banking a bright spot in the quarter here up a whopping 35 percent year over year to 1.6 billion dollars in revenue markets also higher as gains in equities helped offset declines in fixed income currencies and commodities trading wealth management generated 5.6 billion in revenue it was an all-time quarterly record the bank said Bank of America reporting 83 cents per share adjusted to exclude the $700 million special assessment from the FDIC. That's a cost that comes in addition to the levy from last quarter as the insurance fund increased the amount the banking system owes to cover some of the bank system failures last year. We're not yet comparing those to analyst estimates, guys, because of one-time items. Some analysts include, some don't include, so we're just telling you the number uh, so you have it.